So you got bucked off. That's okay, if you're not getting bucked off, you're not riding enough. Whenever I have a horse that starts acting up, here are six steps I go through to troubleshoot. Exercise and training check. This is the number one thing that causes safety issues and wrecks. Horses require consistent exercise and training, so don't be the idiot that leaves your horse on a pasture for six months, then saddles it up for hunting season, kicks it in the guts on a cold morning with a set of spurs on. That's asking for it. The more consistently you work with your horse, the more reliable that horse will become. 15 minutes a day is better than two hours once a week. Pack check. Check your blanket and cinches for anything that might be sharp or uncomfortable. <coughs> On older tack, nails can work their way out of the saddle. On older blankets, that they can become crusty and that can be really uncomfortable for your horse and pinch or rub sore spots too. Make sure your front and rear cinch are connected via the cinch connector strap and check saddle. Go. Oh, now I'm moving on to the next one. Check saddle fit. Horses are incredibly sensitive and just because they might be really good with one saddle doesn't mean they'll be good with all saddles. Different saddles have different weight balance they have different trees, which is the skeleton of the saddle for all of you newbies. And a horse can feel all of that. Even the most broke horse can act up with the wrong saddle fit. Feed check. Match their diet to the level of their activity. Attention campers, lunch has been canceled today due to lack of hustle. Deal with it. Let me tell you a story. In the spring, I was branding with one of my favorite groups of cowboys at the JW and lazy ass cattle companies. I was on my four year old bay horse, Sherman, as made not super famous in our other videos. He had been feasting on second crop alfalfa hay and grain for a good chunk of the winter. And while most of my horses do just fine on that with no problems, it was like crystal meth to Sherm. I was working the gate in the branding pen when one of the calves ducked out of the pen and I necked him with my rope and when I went to the horn for my dally, Sherman put his head down between his legs and came uncorked. And while I did receive an honorable mention for hanging in with him during his launch into the stratosphere, he dumped me. Then later that day, another roper barrel rolled a calf underneath Sherm, and we went into orbit for the second time. Now I had ridden Sherman all winter, but it didn't matter because he'd been on too hot a feed for too long, and Sherman has been in rehab all summer on grass. No mas alfalfa por favor. Learn from my mistakes and make sure each horse is getting the diet that fits them best. Sherman just needs grass, not alfalfa. Weather check. When it's windy and cold, your horse will act up, period. Doesn't matter if it's a 20 year old swayback. Horses hate wind and feel fresh when it's cold. If the weather sucks, plan accordingly. Make time for a good warm up. Rest check. One of the great lies told in horsemanship is people who say that you can lay a horse off and they will be the same. There are very few horses that actually do this well. Vent check. Horses are just like us and sometimes they don't feel good. Most of the time if a horse is feeling a lot of pain this makes them more docile but sometimes their reaction is to come uncorked. Uh, if the change is sudden and they have consistently bad behavior it might be worth taking your horse to the chiropractor or a vet, check for uh, pinched nerves, see if there's something you can alleviate to make your horse more comfortable. Guys, let us know if you like this video or if you found it helpful. If there's anything you think we missed or recommendations you have for troubleshooting a horse that's acting up, write that in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like the style of this video, please subscribe. Happy riding and adios.